But Dimitri Emmanuel, Emmanuel is the newest seminal. He transferred about a few days ago. Now he's a former University of Charlotte player. He has one year left of eligibility. This is a player who started from 2019 to 2021, over 1,500 snaps during that time, you know, starting at left tackle, right tackle, and left guard. Uh, this is a player who also has played under Alex Atkins before. So just, Perry, what were your thirst, first thoughts when you heard that this transfer was official? I, I know it was rumored for a long time, and we all kind of assumed, you know, this is Alex Atkins' guy. He's going to get his guy. Um, you know, but what do you think when you finally heard that he was able to land him? I thought it was nice to see something that was like projected to happen actually happen because, as you mentioned, it had been not a like extended recruitment, but as soon as he entered the portal, it was a natural association. Atkins was there as the OCO line coach. He is now OCO line coach. Why not? It is, in my opinion, a pretty good pickup because all conference player, whenever you even at a lower level like Charlotte, if you can add like the best of your best from that conference. It's always a good position. We were talking a little bit by the show before the show. Will he be able to immediately step in and start and contribute? It's a little bit difficult as a transfer coming in summer slash fall rather than spring to get a little bit more acclimated, to get used to the physicality, to the scheme, et cetera, et cetera. But he's a good body. He's got what it takes. There's actually a great triple option breakdown on Tomahawk Nation breaking down there like his film. Yeah, there it is. We got a plug, but it's a, it's a good pickup. And ideally he is somebody who is raising your floor by the time that uh, Duquesne runs run. Yeah. And I think that, you know, what you said right there at the end, that, that to me is the really key part of this for the Seminoles next year, especially, you know, this is a player with only one year of eligibility. It's not like a, a bless Harris who we saw come in earlier, a guy who's going to be here for multiple years, who even if he doesn't get that time right away, we're going to see his development play out. You know, for, for Emmanuel, um, he can absolutely raise the floor of this offensive line. And I remember an article I wrote about almost three, four weeks ago now about the running game, how injured the offensive line was last year, just how much they had to deal with. You know, imagine being able to insert Dimitri Emmanuel into, into last year's roster, having him at the beginning of 2021. That, that would have paid off in dividends for this team. And, and, you know, for as much bad luck as they had last season, uh, just bringing in that kind of player who, you know, I don't think you're going to be as unlucky as you were in 2022. But at the same time, we know how injured this team has been along the offensive line. It's not like they have all these players who have all this long starting experience for extent for full seasons. You know, a lot of the guys, even including Dylan Gibbons, who is probably the most uh, dependable offensive lineman for this team. He was hurt last year as well. I, I mean, I remember, I think it's the first six games they played. They only had the same starting offensive line from one game to the next in one week. So I, when you talk about that kind of instability, bringing in Dimitri Emmanuel, um, it's going to be huge for raising the floor of this team.